Hey, so yesterday on my Instagram, um, I made a video about some other stuff and I had said that I would do a video today about um, working with St. Expedite and um, not only on how I worked with him, but the reason and everything. Um, working with any saint or any deity, you should really do your research and see what is the right deity or saint to go to for your issue because every saint has a specific thing that they are most helpful with um and same thing with deities there are certain deities that are good for certain things and there's some deities that are good for for everything um so saint expedite is definitely a saint that i wouldn't go to for any willy-nilly little issue um, I have had a St. Expedito candle on hold for myself for about like six months. I got it a long time ago. I didn't have a specific reason when I bought it. I just bought it and I knew that maybe one day I might need it. And uh, St. Expedite candles sometimes are hard to find. So I just grabbed it and it's been in my cabinet for a while. And, uh, there has been an issue that had happened in January that uh, was unexpected, um, unexpected at that time, where Brujo, my, my partner, um, he had to move out of the house that he's renting. And uh, there's a long story in that, but whatever. So he was given until February 28th. But we felt like the sooner he gets out, the better. And uh, so we were shooting for the beginning of February. And uh, so for about two weeks, maybe longer, we were kind of just looking. And then it got to the point where we we're just like, okay, we need to get, we need to find a place right now. So uh, we were looking. I was looking. Brujo works full time. Um in the days so it's harder for him to get away and make time for that so I went on this huge journey of uh, house hunting for a rental and every time I found somewhere where I thought would work and be good for us it would slip through my fingers like as soon as I went to apply for some some place it was already either rented or somebody already put an application in and it was about to be rented so it was just like house hunting, when you're buying a house, it can be stressful, it can be nerve wracking, and it can be disappointing because, you know, you always find a place that you feel like, yes, this is the one, and then someone else buys it. So it's it's the same thing. But so anyways, there were several houses that, you know, we went, we went looking at, I went looking at, I was doing a lot of running around, um, a lot of driving around, a lot of research on all these different places. And I just was not having any luck. And it was getting really frustrating. And uh, we did see this one house. Um, it was one of the first houses we seen. And I liked it. Um, I liked a lot of things about it. The area. Um, it was a really good size house for the price. And... Um, but it was one of the first houses we saw, so Brujo was like, well, let's just keep looking. So we just kind of put that one on the back burner, and um, just nothing's, nothing had been coming up, and nothing when something did come up, it was just something not right about it. So I turned to St. Expedite. St. Expedite is the saint you go to when you need something quickly, when you need something fast um now i said i wouldn't be all willy-nilly about what i go to him for um like i said i've had this candle um for six months and through you know whatever we've been going through like it it never seemed like the right reason to go to him um you don't go to saints or deities for just ridiculous reasons i feel it's it's disrespectful to them i feel like you need a, a pretty just reason to call on them to help you um like i wouldn't go to saint expedite because 
I just need $300 just because real quickly, you know, there, he, he takes pity and mercy on us when we are in our greatest need. Um, so I decided that I was going to pull that candle out and call on St. Expedite, but I want to explain to you how I did it and the steps that are involved. Because when you work with saints or deities, it's always good to research how to approach them, what they like, what they ask of you, and remember to be respectful because you are going to them for something. You are asking for something. You're asking for some type of help. And they deserve that respect and they deserve honoring and offerings. And there's certain things that each saint or deity like. Um, with St. Expedito, there are some specific things. So you, you can go online and you can research working with Expedito and you're going to find multiple different ways that are all similar, but different. So I'm going to show, I'm going to tell you and show you how I did it. So St. Expedite's day is Wednesday. That's the day you should do all your stuff for him. Um, so it was a Wednesday and I had my candle um, there are certain ways some people do this. This is the way I chose to do it and it was successful. Some people will do the candle and, and do, you know, the whole ritual and stuff. And some people say that after he comes through, then you give him the offerings and everything. Now, the way I did it because I feel like, I don't know, I, I always have things on my altars for all my deities and stuff, and it doesn't feel right to not offer something up front. So I did half now, half later. Um, so here's a couple of things. So Wednesday for St. Expedite, you want to do it on a Wednesday. He needs his own altar, his own space. Um, I just got a little tray. And he likes to be by the door, preferably the front door. You could do the back door, but he likes to be by the door. So I put my little tray by the door. He needs to have a cloth on the altar and it needs to be red. So I have like 9 million bandanas. So I put a red bandana down for him. He needs to have his glass of water, just like you should have a glass of water on all your altars um, for who, everyone that you're working with. And, um, red flowers he likes to have red flowers and one of the most important things is his pound cake he likes pound cake now some people will say you can't have any other pound cake except for sarah lee's pound cake and some people will say you can have any pound cake you can have you know you can make a pound cake you can buy any any grocery bakery pound cake now I feel like Sara Lee pound cake is the traditional way to go. So that's the way I went. Um, you can find Sara Lee pound cake at the grocery stores in the freezer aisle, aisle where uh, like there's pies and whipped cream and stuff. Um, I think I got mine at Walmart and it was about $6. Um, it's pretty long too. It's a pretty big, long pound cake. So when I set up my altar, um, I did it in a triangle. He seems to like it that way. So I had my candle at the tip of the triangle. Then I had his flowers at the bottom corner of the triangle. And then I had his water on the other side of the triangle. And then in front, I had a plate with half of the pound cake. So I did half now and half at the end when he comes through. Um, like I said, not everybody does it that way. That's the way I did it. That's the way I felt like it was the right way to do it for me. Now you should have a picture of St. Expedite. Now the candle does have a picture. You don't have to use a St. Expedite candle. Like I said, they're not always easy to find. You can use a red candle. You can use any candle. Um, I used it, the one that it came with his picture on it was a yellow candle, which was pretty good for what I needed it for. Um, but 
I still felt like the picture on the candle wasn't enough. So I do have two prayer cards with St. Expedite on it. I'll show you. I have two of them. They're different. And then there's a prayer in the back. Um, this one's in Spanish. And then I also have this one here. And I actually, um, prayer cards, I have several prayer cards of different saints. And I actually keep uh, a lot of them in my wallet. So I had one prayer card against the water, the glass of water. And I had the other prayer card against the candle. Now, another, uh, the, another way to do this, too, is you can turn the prayer card upside down. So, St. Expedite's upside down. Um, it is said that you will get quicker results because he wants to turn that, that picture of him right side up. So, he's even quicker. I know that seems kind of mean or weird or whatever. So, I did do one picture, the one against the candle upside down. And the other one against the water was right side up. Um, now, next, I had the petition. So, I'm a firm believer on writing petitions. Um, I make my clients all send me a petition of what they're asking for. And then I hand write it on parchment paper for them. And then I add any wording that, that I feel needs to be said. Um, but... It's really important when you write petitions that they're very direct, they're to the point. They don't need to be fancy wording or anything like that. People get caught up in it and want to just write a book. Um, you just need to be very specific. Be very specific on what you are wanting to happen and how you're wanting to happen and use those keywords. If it involves a person, make sure you put their name, put their birth date if you have it. Um, but I feel like if the more specific you are, the better, because if you're vague, like I want prosperity and money. Okay. All right. But like, what is going on that you need that? What, what's happening that you need that? So be more specific. Um, so for my petition, I was very specific on needing to find the right house that will be perfect for us in our needs that will be in the right area of town that we want that will be affordable to us under such and such money that will have so this many rooms that will have this to offer and this and this so I was very specific on what I wanted um the other thing and I know I'm going to mess it up I'm going to not pronounce it right at this moment but I know I did at that time because I was I looked it up but there is a key word in working with St. Expedite and it's on his I think it's on his cross that he holds I think it's on his cross it's somewhere on his statue and um, I made sure to put it in my petition, too, at the end. It's like a closing. It's like a, it's like an amen, almost. It's, it's, uh, it's spelled H-O-D-I-E, and I believe it's pronounced Ude, 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 or Hude, but I think it's Ude. Um, it, it means, like, fast acting, act now, act swiftly. Um, so I did close it with that, those words. And, uh, when I write my petition, when I write all petitions and what I tell everybody too, is that when you're writing your petition, it's a form of immediate manifesting. So even if like I write petitions for my clients, sometimes days before I, uh, do the actual ritual and sometimes they'll start seeing results after that petition has been written um it's because it's already putting things in motion that's already it's you know you're you're taking the time to think it out you're taking the time to write it out you're you know you then you're reading it it's it's already putting it out into the universe so for me i believe petitions are very important to write them out um some people don't some people would rather say it out loud i do both um not only the petition, but when I'm doing my rituals, I speak words as well. 
Um, so yeah, so that's what I had going on. Um, I waited until Wednesday evening. I think I wrote my petition the day before. Um, so I had all my stuff together. I called upon St. Expedite. I did all my ritual stuff that I do and I lit my candle. I put herbs in my candles, just like I always do. And, uh, that's herbs and oils, but that's, that's not necessary. It's just an extra part that I do in, in all my work because herbs are from the earth. They're natural. They each have magical properties. So I feel they're very important. And the oils that I use are oils that I make and they involve herbs as well. And they all have magical properties and intentions. And, um, I make those things and I do sell them on my Etsy, the oils. Um, but yeah, so I did all that. I also write on my glass candles. Um, I wrote my name. I wrote Brujo's name. I wrote our date of births. And then I wrote keywords on the glass as well about what we're wanting. Um, those are just all extra steps I do. It's not mandatory. It's not, there's no written rule on that. But the most important parts of working with St. Expedite would be Wednesdays, by the door, red flowers, red altar cloth, his water, and his pound cake. So um, that was a Wednesday. Thursday, we had we had decided on a place. Um, it was one of the first places that we saw. Like I mentioned, it was it was the first house that we saw together. And after thinking about it and talking to Brujo about it, um, I had mentioned to him, like, you know, all these houses keep slipping through my fingers. But this specific house that we saw the first time we saw together two weeks prior is still available. Why is it still available? It's in the same area as all these other places that we like that are really desired. And it's just as good as these other houses. It's bigger than these other houses. It's, why is it still available? It's weird. Why? That's weird. All these other houses are taken up so quickly, but this one is still here. I think it's a sign. So that was the next day we had that conversation. Um, I called the place. Yes, it was still available. No, nobody had applied for it yet. Also weird. Um, so we went, we went, I got all the paperwork done and I turned in the paperwork Thursday afternoon, like late, like at 430. They close at five. Okay. Turned in the paperwork. She tells me, the lady there tells me it takes about four to five business days for us to get back to you. Uh, we're going to do, you know, background, uh, run your credit, check, you know, your referrals and everything, call people. It takes about four to five business days. This was on a Thursday late 430. So she was like, "This we probably won't get back to you with an approval or a denial until maybe Wednesday at the earliest. So I was like, fuck, that's a long time from now. We're in a hurry. So... Friday morning, I wasn't even like fully awake yet. It was like 8.30 in the morning, I get a phone call and it's the the rental place. And she tells me we've been approved. How so quickly, so quickly, right? The next day, not even 24 hours, not even 24 hours, you guys. And we were approved. That's crazy. And I can't, think that it was anything else but saying expedite. So I laid it on Wednesday afternoon. He came through for us by Friday morning. That's pretty fucking spectacular. Now, the last thing that you have to do when working with St. Expedite, um, when he comes through, when you get what you've asked for from him. Um, so I changed his altar. The candle went out, I think, on Saturday. I think it went out on Saturday. 
I refreshed his water. I put the candle, I put the flowers in the candle vase and I threw out the bread, the pound cake that I had first given him. And then I gave him the rest of the pound cake. I turned over his card back where it was right side up and I thanked him. And the very last thing you need to do is you need to tell the world, you need to tell everybody about working with him and how he came through. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm putting it on YouTube. Um, I'm also going to um, let everyone know on Instagram that St. Expedite came through for me. He is a miracle worker. He came through fast for me and I'm very grateful. And this is a, a very big deal for us and we're very happy. And now we can relax and move forward knowing that we have this house and everything is taken care of. Now we just have to move. Um, so that was my experience. I hope I didn't leave anything out. Um, I wanted to wait until we had the actual key to the house before I made this video. Um, so yeah, we got the key last night. So um, thank you St. Expedite for coming through for me and I hope when you work with St. Expedite that you will be blessed as we were by his awesomeness. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can um, put it in the comments or on Instagram, you can DM me. I think I, I think I went through everything correctly. But like I said, you can research um, there are different ways, but there are some things I feel like are very important when working with him. Like I said, the red flowers, the red cloth, the glass of water, his picture, pound cake. And then when he comes through telling everybody that he came through for you. So I think that's it. Please, when you work with any saints, any deities, be respectful. Be realistic on what you are asking for. Um, understand that with him, it was very fast because that's what he does. Um, not all circumstances will work out that fast. Um, it is sometimes things have to align just right. Things take time sometimes. Um, when you ask for his help, understand wording is very important. Sometimes you want him to understand your dire need. So if, say, you are needing $500 to come to you so you can make rent and so you can feed your children. So, you know, things like that. Those are the, those are the words you want to, to say, that this is why you need it. You, you are in dire need of it for this reason. Um... Don't forget to say your your magic words, the uday, 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 look that up. Um, and I guess that's it. I hope this is helpful. And um, I know I haven't made a video for YouTube in a really long time. Um, I had some eye issues in um, late October, November, and some of October, and then Christmas hit, and all this busyness this month. So things have been hectic, but I promise, especially now that we're, we're moving, I will have more time and space to do more stuff like this. Um, yeah, a lot of big things are coming. Um, if you haven't uh, followed me on Instagram, do that. That's where I do most of my work, most of my services. You can also find links for that um, in my bio here and for my Etsy. Um, more things are coming in Etsy. And I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Catch me on Instagram. I'm always on there. Okay, bye.